Stay tuned to find out how to reduce clutter in your inbox and watch your email organize itself. Hello, my name is Oren from CompuMatter and today I will be going over Outlook Rules, which is a very powerful tool you can utilize to filter out spam from your inbox before it floods it, as well as organizing your emails into folders and doing all sorts of really cool tricks with it. So the first thing you want to do is go to the website Outlook and then log into your email account, whether it be a hot mail or an Outlook account, either one is fine as long as it's a Microsoft email account. And once you're in here, I have this example email. You go up here to the top right and click on the settings gear. And then the rules button is right here. And then from here you can hit add new rule. And you can name this rule anything that would help you understand what the rule does. In this case, I'm going to make a test spam filter. All right, and then we're going to add a condition by clicking. And say I was getting a spam email regularly and it was sent from a variety of different email addresses, so I couldn't just block the sender. But they had a very familiar subject line that always said free download. What I can do is I can select the condition subject or body includes, which means it's either the subject line or the body of the email. If it has the following text, it will filter it out. So I don't want any emails coming through that have the following text in it. And then from there, what I can do is I can add an action. So if an email comes in with the subject line or body, including free download in the text anywhere, I can click on select an action and then I can hit mark as junk and we can also add another action. Click on that and hit delete if you wanted it to go straight to your trash and also be marked as junk. Now if you had an exception to this rule, say a friend on occasion sent you something that said free download in it, you can click on that, select an exception, and then you can hit the from button and put in an email address. So I'll just put in an example here. And then if you wanted to run the rule right now, say your inbox was already flooded with a ton of these, you can check this box here and hit save. And when it's done, any emails in the future that come in with that text will be sorted and organized, marked as junk and put into the trash and any current emails that you have will also be deleted. All right, now that that's created, let's give it a try. All right, so here's my example email that I'm going to send to myself. It has the forbidden text in here that the filter should pick up on, or the rule in this case, and then do the following steps. So I got this email and I'm going to send it. It might take a moment and then I'll notice that there is a new item in my junk email as well as my deleted items. So if I click over here, it did not go to my inbox, but it instead was filtered directly to the trash. And if you want to edit your rule or delete it later on, you can go back to the rules area by hitting on the settings gear up here, clicking on rules. And then we have this little edit pencil that you can click on and go in and change anything. Say this was too vague and not as specific as you'd like it to be, you can remove this and say, if it was free Norton download that they were saying, you could do that and then save it. And that could update the settings for you so that if you're experiencing difficulty with it accidentally filtering out the wrong emails, you can customize it further in here. And furthermore, you can just delete the whole rule by clicking this button and hitting OK. One more benefit of using this rule trick is organizing it automatically into folders. You can click on add a new rule here. And I'll call this one as an example folder sort. And you can say subject includes bank. If the subject includes bank, then I could have the action be move to select a folder and we can make a new test folder for this example and we can call it banking. Save. 
and then we can save this here. And this will not only make this rule, but it will create a new folder for us to use for the purpose of organization right over here. Now if I make another test email, send that off. You'll notice it populate right over to your banking folder here. Now the one downside to that is it doesn't show up in your inbox, so you might want to customize that further. But as you can see, it really, really helps with your organization and keeping your inbox clean. If you have any questions on anything that you saw here today, or you want a more in-depth tutorial on creating folders and managing your Outlook email, feel free to leave a comment down below. We appreciate any feedback as well, and thank you for taking the time to watch it. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.